just from the start too. These bands, yeah, we see Rubik sanking Bane first three band by Liquid. They're like, all right, let's leave the board open. Let's change the way this game What? Goes. And there you go, my games. Okay. <laughs> Task undying. Okay, all right, well, uh, uh, not, not completely um, outside of what Secret they picked played. Undying. But, yeah, I mean, Task is, played, Task is fine. Undying it's just is the inside of Puppy's most played top 10, but it's on the very edge of it. And they played it here, right? I think I saw them play it earlier I, in this tournament, or am I wrong? In this Honestly, tournament? don't know. And yeah, I don't think I saw Task, it. Maybe I just saw an Undying, and it wasn't them. So, yeah, I mean, he's one and one on the hero is Puppy since January 1st. Yeah. I think it's the first Undying pick that we've seen. Was it? Okay. Yeah. I thought they I'd picked seen it. it. Uh, they picked it. Liquid picked I, it in the I last think... game at Dream League. Yeah, and I don't oh, think it's okay. been picked so, here at all. Right. No, it hasn't. It's a, it okay. is a first pick right now. And it if you dispose either. of the other Titan, I think Undying is probably the support that wins you, like, is the stabilized laner that is the strongest when it comes to, like, that harass focus. It's one of the known heroes that is the dominator of Undying. This is like 10D chess, man. Yep. And then they're <laughs> going to go into too. 4 or 5 with Terrorblade Band. Like when they're going to take out. I think they're going to lose their mind. This is 200 IQ drafting. This is. We knew this was going to happen, right? Yep, we did. We did. They banned Gyro as well. Five seconds remaining. For who? Liquid. On Liquid. I think because they, if you look yes. at Secret's lineup, right, where they have Undying Tusk, Do you know, you have I a gyro don't on top envy of either. Of I really don't. Hmm. This. What are you talking about? This is amazing. No, no, but it must be really tough for you to kind of pick what's going to happen. Because I, that's, no. I don't even think they know what's going to happen. Picking, look, okay, picking heroes is impressive, but it's kind of a parlor trick. Like this, to me, this is an opportunity to get, to sort of get inside the minds of two of the best captains in the world and understand why they're doing what their teams are trying to be. Good luck with like, that. Like that's amazing to me. <laughs> Good DK luck with as that. well. I, I don't think that they banned the, uh, I think the gyro there, okay, okay. with the Phantom Lancer. PO, it's that, it's that matchup that you can, you get ahead on PL, Jaro. Yeah, for TV, me, it's, though, it's the fact that you have really good enablers with this yeah. Undying. But I think maybe DK problem. You like Viper for Secret? I wouldn't really I, think that they would pick it. I think Undying and Viper, it's so immo such an immobile draft versus Phantom Lance. Okay. Sure, laning phase, you might be able to dominate, but mid-game... Like those heroes don't move. Those yeah, you want to you want to speak of parlor tricks. I think that like the whole Nether toxin. I I don't think it's like. It's not a hard counter. It's not a it's hard like counter. It's a small trick it... counter. All right, fair enough. You could play fair around enough. it as a. As... Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Razor also limits uh, Ace, and I'm not sure how you feel about Bruton of situation. Team Another two, the two other heroes that have been Ace's go-tos behind the ones that you mentioned, Luna and the Life. Don't want to play Lifestealer yeah. by any means. Luna, I think, is draft. right. Luna's good, and, and another one that they've sort of been pulling out at the tail end of drafts, uh, they've been fifth pick in Curl Warlord, and quite like. I think they had that matchup against remaining. Steeler. And then that Luda game, they left a Terror Blade out in the game. But here, Liquid are remaining. unlikely to pick it as their third. So, I, I, that, that is possible. You do have problems with Razor. Like, that's actually a traditional, just like, latch onto a... ...what the GH hero... Yeah, they opened up with two cores, like we said, do that too often. And... Okay. This, is, uh, this is a hero they obviously believe in for yeah. mid one. We're seeing it first phase. First phase they did it, now they did it. Yeah. Look at it, it's the, it's, it's the kind of the corollary to the concern that you guys were expressing about mobility. Yeah. Ten seconds Secret, remaining. they know they, need to, they want to be able to split the map. Oh, they banned her shake. Yeah, they banned the ES. Yeah, secret banned. I was like, that was like, that could have been. It is. That could have been a secret hero. I, I guess they they can't run it. I don't know. Are we gonna see Whisper Spirit here for GH? Her spirit looks solid. Doesn't match up in the so good versus Undying or Tusk. Storm. Oh, Rubik's still in the pool as well. Over there as well. I don't like this. I think Earth Spirit's playable. 
Whispers. Whispers risky. I do. I just like the Rubik as it. I, I like the Rubik here because either Kuro or Kia. I like Rubik. Yeah. Disruptor, I think you run into. I, I, I just. I think you run into a little bit of potential trouble with the lane. Because go Undying could just run at you. I think it's more about the grain. Not just lanes. They've already got Razor, so they have one lane. One lane's ours. And versus Undying and Tusk, these are the two supports. So the double melees here. Storm, they've got a lot of close range heroes. Disruptor can. If they go the, the Naga Disruptor, like, huge counter to Storm in a lot of ways. I feel like Naga is one of the that can kind of oh, contest the, the Undying when it comes to owning the lanes. What about Underlord into the Razor as well. Underlord into the Razor and. Because they could do PL. Yeah. Razor. This, and they've got, this is like a very, I don't know how else to really describe it, there's all kind of melee in a way versus disrupt drives when everybody, likes it. everybody groups up, you get much better chances of getting your static storm off in all situations. A lot of time. It's left as well. Yeah, that's it's hard because a lot of tradition, a lot of mm. the traditional picks are just all taken out. What about the Chen? I oh. think that Kuroki normally plays the disrupt. Does he's also the Chen? You don't quite have the setup. There's the, okay. I, 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 I really like that. Yeah. Turn around once you see the Underlord. Uh, I think the IO comes back on board because you want an answer to that ability of Team Secret Mover on the map. Is there still a Beastmaster? Is a Beastmaster. Oh, yes. I think they could go for IO Beastmaster. Ten seconds I think that would be amazing. Um, Five Razor seconds versus. Remaining. The Brood is still in play for Secret. Beast and DK. And DK. That's, so, that's the thing is whatever you're going Brood could be, could definitely be. Then they're pretty much all melee. I, I, th I think the, I think the brood and the, uh, and the, even into the razor. Like that's the thing. I, I, yeah, I know. But teams in this tournament, the top teams have been willing to pick that LD into the. Team liquids. Causing me to doubt myself. Beast gets banned. Meepo is. Yes. Meepo is a sick call, He's actually. Coming. And they're all melee, ready to go. So I think that other one, like you said, okay. Ten seconds remaining. Unless they... Five seconds remaining. I'm thinking they still could... Right. You're thinking like side lane racer. And there's the, okay. the, the, the brood band. I felt that they had to do that. Like... You guys like DK here? I feel like that's the normal pick. Ten seconds remaining. Team Out of all the other offlaners. <laughs> oh man! I mean, like we said, this, these guys are just. Yeah. This is gonna be some interesting. Mind games. So that Apple would be. That's gonna be my. Con yeah, and the first time. Here. Yeah. So, Ten do you think the remaining. the wisp in, in Enchantress is sustained? Is that enough Five to make this uh remaining. like not a great storm? Because our choice is all included, like, a decent amount of sustain, but, like, they also yeah. have Lockdown. Naga, Dragonite. They weren't heroes that were... There's there. Meepo! Oh, oh, my God! My God. Yeah. <laughs> good call. Way oh, to go, That's Fox. sick. Yeah. I, I think that's a I, great I think pick they here, too. For that. I, yeah, I, that's, I mean, that's the one I was thinking. <laughs> GG. Like, <laughs> no, I shouldn't say that because this is going to yeah, be an shouldn't amazing say that. game. Uh, this we do, be awesome. we do get a Meepo. It is the oh. 91st different hero used and picked at this tournament as well. Has it made the difference in the drafting decisions? Fog. 
Let's go, Meepo. I haven't seen it in a while. Okay. I know this hero can be abused the a choice bit, is, but... The choice is a liquid of secret, just, but I'm you've excited. got Meepo. I'm, I'm like excited it. for okay. Meepo. It's He's a got... combination of AoE and it deals with split push from well, really well. I like it. Yeah. Secret. Okay. I, I think that uh, this is actually closer than it might seem. Uh, the Meepo pick is a very good one. I think the first round, though, of this chess match goes to Puppy and Secret. All right. Okay, let's uh, find out. We'll bring in our commentary team. Boys, it is time for the quarterfinals. Liquid versus Secret. And you've got yourselves a Meepo. Yeah, I'm kind of happy about that. I'm also very sad about the series because I yeah. don't want to see either of these teams go home. No, quite. Uh, but this is fantastic. We get Meepo. We have Mind Control Enchantress. We're, we're, we're mixing things up a little bit here, Blitz. So not your standard run of the mill day, Dota. No, it's not. The first series set that up already. That day is not going to be an average day. I, I blinked. I missed it. That was weird. I, Man, that was... I still can't get over that first series. I know we're supposed to talk about the second one, but... Do, 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 you, do you want to give a, a quick wrap-up? Just just at least clear, like, just cleanse your thoughts of it before we focus on this one. I kept saying that Newbie is, like, the team that drops, like, random series to people, but there's, like, a different level to that. Losing in, like, 17 minutes. Crushing, like, bro, like that. Yeah. You expect a lot out of Newbie. It just shows, like, the cool thing about that is it shows, like, how, how random Dota can be. In terms of like, it'll depend on the matchup, who's who, drafts look like. So it's very hard to say like, oh, this team's garbage, this is good, because you never know, right? Yeah. There's so many things like, like, hey, Meepo gets picked up, you think the pick is really, really good. The panel, I feel really sorry for you guys when you're up there every single time. This is the team that will win this one. You never know. Yeah. It's... And anything, anything is going to be possible. I mean, Fnatic, like, what do you think the odds were before that series? Realistically speaking, but e right? e even the odds, like about one minute before the end of that series, yeah. <laughs> like it, it was all favoring Team Secret. Yeah, that was one of the weirder series that I've been a part of. Like this tournament in general has just been odd. But who knows? I, I mean, I'm really excited for this one because this would have been my number one and number two team. Uh, so what I like to do before every tournament is I like to just pull the players that I know, and the best team. It was actually pretty 50-50 split. Like, a lot of people said Secret, which would have been my choice. But a lot of people also said Liquid. Those were almost always at the... Nobody said Newbie, nobody said... I was, I was, I was waiting for the VG call yeah. in there somewhere. It was either Liquid or Secret. In VG, they're doing it in one tournament. Still have a lot of Dota to play. These were, yeah. for most people, the consensus. 1A, 1B. Find out the order right now. Liquid has had sort of a... It feels like a mental block. They've been struggling against them. They lost 3 0 in Dream League, although all three of those games are very good. And they ended up getting 2 1 to at ESL Hamburg, right? The last. I so, so far, Grid feels slightly better in this match. This is kind of where Liquid gets to correct it all. We'll, we'll see if they can. We just, just get a feeling of our lanes now. So, Miracle is running that PL in mid with GH roaming. Io against mid one Storm Spirit, not a hero we've seen be that successful, or at least be the real reason why a team has been successful. Yapsaw sitting behind them as always. This is just classic Yapsaw for this entire tournament, just try and create some problems for that mid lane and secure mid one his time. Bada playing the hero that unraveled Team Secret yesterday against Matumaman's Razor. And then down the bottom, the Meepo. Team Liquid actually came down here to break a whole bunch of trees and put down that one dire Observer Ward. Do you think there's actually like a like a set reason too where they want to clear out the trees? Is it watching the pulls? Oh, Is it die. watching Ace He's... die under the tower? The Thunder Strike will be enough. Mind Control with his attack will reach it and get the kill. Add the pause to reflect on your mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> so remember you asked me by the way, you said uh, they picked on dying. And, yeah. I, and I said because they anticipate uh, Liquid to take the IO. IO. Yeah. Do you that, like, how's that meant to like directly counter? Like, you, you pick up the Undying, you're just like, okay, so this hero, why, why does it work so well against the IO? It's like, strength-based heroes, dying just to phase. You're almost always going to get it. But that's why Liquid also takes heal. Heal takes down the zone so fast. It's like a hero counters. And Liquid, I, mean, I think Secret were trying to dissuade pick. That's kind of been like the story of the tournament. Draft is if I take this hero, I want to make sure that you're not going to take what I what I think you're good at. Like it's preempting it all. But Liquid do it anyways. Starts his TP out. 
GH was only coming down to pick up that two minute rune so he could bottle it up. But uh, ends up actually forcing the Undying to TP all the way back to base. And as well as picking up the Illusion rune. I... It one makes me so sad. Why? Why sad? Because it's like, I really need Storm to see some buffs. <laughs> so you, you don't want mid one to have a successful game? Yeah, I, he always wins with that hero. Like, nobody else seems to win with it, but, you know, but he does. But it, it seems to work, like, he, he wins with a hero because Fada is a real player. I think Fog was saying this thing yesterday, where he's just like, as long as Fada is actually a real player in a game, then Team Secret, especially mid one, always does well. I, I would agree with that. But at the same time, mid one is a beast on this hero. He's one of my favorite storms. Feels like he's one of the few people that actually the only person that I've seen one with this hero in quite some time. So it takes a lot to impress you for a storm spirit. Uh, uh, well, look at this blocking blocking miracle! Block. He uses the small illusion to actually stop him. The shards it doesn't block. Oh. Miracle away, almost the save from Yap. So miracle will just walk straight back down the mid lane. That you was... shouldn't have praised him, Blitz. You shouldn't have praised him. <laughs> that, it was worth it for that. That was very cool. Miracle, presence of mind, uses one of his illusions just to step in front. The little things that separate players like that. Oh, Puppy, glimpse back on the bottom lane. Mind control was already chipping away at him. There's the two men, well, attempted decay. So he didn't hit anybody with that and uh, still TP out to safety. He only just arrived back there. He gets blood in his uniform as he goes all the way home. He's still only level one, by the way. Yeah, like, Puppy's had Zero impact in this Meepo has been shoved out of this wave. Meepo's a nice hero in this game, but it's hard to enable him because the Enchantress is so good at just setting up for these quick fights. Normally when you go Oh, and GH that gonna work together. Ace, he's already poofed away with that Meepo to try and farm up the camps, and now Ace will fall to Kuro. Stopping the pulls, the support combinations just been so active for Team Liquid. Yeah. That's a lot of gold too. That goes to just two supports. A lot of gold and XP. You slow down the Meepo's farm, who hasn't even shown up in lane. So far, the game has been very difficult at one. Lays down a Remnant Trap, but near Doppelkinger. Not easiest start right now. This is this is just some bolty stuff from Puppy. He knows there's three heroes on the other side of this tree. He just hit level two. He's holding the point. Finally, someone from Team Secret is coming down here, and it'll be, it'll be Fada. He's got some decent levels, so he can easily stand down here alone. But now the lane change up. What, is mid one going to go against the Razor? And then Ace has the mid lane. Is it... He's gonna jungle. That's it? Yeah, you, at this point, as strong by clarity. The downside though is he already has Ace doing So right now, at five minutes, like, we've got two cores that are actually just hitting jungle creep. Think about that. It's so sad because you don't want to be doing this. Yep. Like, nobody's least... even taking advantage of mid. So, at Ace... least he absolutely here to try and stop GH, but he's in range of Kuro for the tether and Poppy knows it. Snowball actually grabbing in Ace. They'll need to get the shards out. No, he doesn't. But GH, where's the stun? There it is. Earthbind is there, but it does not cancel the TP. So GH all the way back home may reveal the fact that Liquid have that aggressive ward watching Ace's spawn pat. I think they would have realized that after the second. So far, so good for Team Quid. This is a very blistering. Liquid has a good laning phase. This, it's rare to see them uh, give up this kind of lead. We're in a position where not feeling very comfortable whatsoever. Normally, it's eighth game or mid one's game that is enabled Toby, but in this one, I feel like either of them are really getting any real estate on the map. Yeah, mid one's just uh, battling directly with Miracle. He's a little bit of experience behind, but. Like, that's more of an even trade. Father had bounced down to the bottom lane to try and take the farm down here, but Ace is Ace is still managed to find 33 CS. It's not that bad, but that doesn't really equate to net worth. He's sitting at 1.8k net worth to the 3k of Mind Control, who's number one, and the rest of Liquid are right behind him. They had the number one, two, and three position. Yeah, it's really scary when you allow all three of Liquid's force to get farmed because normally it's somebody getting uh, the tank job. It's like oftentimes Matama Man will just. Uh, get ganked repeatedly or draw the attention of the supports but they haven't really needed to do that as ace once again he's gonna get gone on yeah he was actually faking his initiation of the miracle bakuro in through the side able to actually catch ace just on the edge ace faking up the poop so he can yeah. actually get the last poop the, the damages <gasps> 18 hp he'll survive but that was close exhale toby <laughs> here she goes <laughs> i don't think that was weird. i think that was someone down the corridor but yeah <laughs> 
That was scary. I thought the two follow-up hits would do it, but... Little... Scratches. Yeah, would he hitting too hard on the side of Liquid, aside from near? It's a good escape for Race, at least. That's that's one of those things he desperately needs to keep avoiding. Because Liquid, as you said, like they're a fast-paced team. They like they like to keep the momentum, grab the momentum, keep the momentum. So they need kills. They need to keep the pressure on. There's not easy delays from Team Secret. Kind of like the downside about the Undying. Radiant structures are fortified. Especially when Yapsol Yapsol still is not level three yet. There's three heroes mid on the side of Good, I almost said four, but that's just a Meepo. And they are not able to do anything about this. Miracle has already taken this tower about half HP, even below that. Does a lot more damage to the tower than I anticipated, and no real response from Secret. We've talked about how important this mid tower is to the rest of the game, and the fact that they're able to do this in eight minutes without a catapult. Not bode well so far for Secret. Fortification slowing things down. The Shah is just trying to keep Kuro out of the fight. Miracle looking for the last hit. Puppy gets the deny. So at least they remove some of the extra gold, but Miracle could just go for the kills instead. With the help of GH, who's tethered himself forward. They want to kill off Yapsaw. Snowball available. And he's heading towards Miracle by the looks of it. Yep, straight back up the mid. And Yapsaw, well, you can shard to try and slow down the wave, but that's going to be all. There is no assistance coming from Team Secret. Puppy and Yapsaw are just taking it for the team. This is so problematic right now for Team Secret because we talked about how the early game is determined by your four position. If you're a four position player, you need somewhere on the map to do something. You need to be able to kill somebody, pressure somebody. Where exactly is Yapsor supposed to go in this kind of draft? He can't really help his Meepo because it's an Enchantress. You're not going to go and gank a Razor, that's a dead lane hero. And a Phantom Lancer has an escape ability over your shards. So now you're in a position where all three of your cores can't do anything. Your four position doesn't really have a game. And look at that as one of the... There is no brakes on that train. Normally, yeah. there's like a little bit of a bump. That is almost straight down. They're thinking you better fight all over onto Miracle. He's been hit by Decay a couple of times, and this is why mid one wants to jump forward. Has no points up in Electric Vortex, so no control ability onto Miracle. And here comes GH flying over the trees. Another Decay. Miracle. The shards are blocking mid, but it won't really matter. He's still got 17 one shots up his sleeve, so they go for GH mid one and Yapsaw teaming up on him. Farter, the Rift, it will not get him out to safety. And now they even glimpse Yapsaw up and into the miracle. wall. He starts his TP, and Miracle just wants blood. He'll claim Yapsaw. 7-1 on the board, and this game has escalated quickly. Yeah, that's 6k gold at just 9 minutes into the game. They finally get themselves on the board. No shutout here, but Liquid are on a very steady roll so far. All three of their cores in very good shape right now as mind control. This is the problem when you play against offlane Enchantress, is sometimes she gets these games where nobody wants to be in her lane, Toby. Bottom lane, Bada. He's got no pit of malice. They don't have a control. Yeah, they have the okay. one stun from the tusk, and that's about it. I, I kind of got semi excited because I'm like, you know what? Bada's just going to like lock him in position. The rift comes in. Yeah, so holds him in with shards, right? But it's... Yeah, not happening. I'm still pretty certain that wouldn't be enough to kill. <laughs> that's why things feel pretty rough right now for Secret is they can't kill anybody. Dota is based on the fact that, like, okay, if we bring three heroes down here, we should be able to get a kill. But do they really kill this Enchantress? She's got a 10 minute four staff. Yeah. They don't have Magic Burst on their side. And she keeps ca carrying this catapult with her, with the Blightstone, now the double catapult wave. Like, they need a react though, or else Mind Controls is going to continue to take more and more building. Then they go hit Roshan. They take all your tier twos and your tier ones. You got to make a play somewhere. Smoke, try to gank one of the cores. I think Razor at this point. Might have been one of the easiest, but if you look, Montama Man has already anticipated that. Yep. Miracles also moved down to this bottom lane just to ensure Tier 2 Tower drops 11 minutes into the game. And Storm has to ball landing away. Mid 1, not a lot of mana to work with here. He, I, I know we're... No, 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 they're not going to go up. They just claim more buildings. Yeah. They actually smoke. This was, this was under Vision of the Radiant Obs and Sentry Ward, so Team Secret are fully aware. Yeah, yeah, but Mind Control is in mid lane. Be a quick, a quick tier two. You gotta defend something. You're on the side of Secret. You're watching Liquid right now just march down your base, take whatever they want. But if you if you fight, you kind of out of the game, right? Like Ace is still trying to play catch up game. Like he's just hit level ten. He's actually building Shadow Blade onto this Meepo. Trying to get Silver Edge so he can blow up the supports and especially the Enchantress. 
kind of top the problem list. GH is on it. He understands that something is wrong. Ace actually TPing back with one of his Meepos, the one that just used the poo. And will escape as he understands that Liquid are on the hunt for him now. Very nice move by him. Getting aggressive into their own jungle. It seems so counterintuitive in Dota to go to the enemy uh, side of the jungle when you're behind like this, but you have to take risks because you assume that if he's that far ahead, they've warded everywhere on the outskirts. So it's very dangerous to enter your own jungle by yourself. Well, he is right. That observer ward's on, on the hillside to the north of the Radiant jungle. There's one on the bottom ramp, and there's one just east of the mid-tier mid 2 tower. So Team Liquid have perfect coverage of anyone leaving the Team Secret base. This is when you know you're ahead. You're showing cores at 1. Oftentimes in a game, Toby, when you're this far behind, what'll end up happening is you'll just go smoke and gank one or the other, because you know for a fact that the cores are separated. But they can show this Razor up at top and mind control in mid with total impunity. Because, uh, well, they, they just don't think they can die. Mid one actually coming, like, at least their Observer Ward. Okay, they're gonna start creep skipping. So mid one's moved between the tier one and the tier two tower in mid. Ace is farming up the the dire jungle on the southern side. Bro, he's got his ult too. Oh, yeah, he does. He, he can TP. actually kill them all right now. But then again, there's your Earthbind holding him on the edge. Storm Spirit jumps over. So a nice kill for Ace, but the relocate will kill him. But at this point, there's actually a semi even trade. That is, it'll go, it'll go the way of Liquid by a little bit, just because it's Ace. That's still kind of okay-ish. Oh, Fada. Okay, he's okay. TP just in time. Oh, it was closer than I thought it'd be. The damage that Razor can steal so quickly, 112. Throwing out the Tuscar shards, Yapsol snowballed into Miracle, so there was no escaping this. Is this just going to be the day of stomps? I think so, day, day of the 20 minutes, right? I mean, I guess we're just done at 5. Gone, gone in 20 minutes. I, I'm trying to figure out a way. I, I think that Secret, if I'm being realistic, it's difficult. Like, at this point, your chances of coming back are probably less than percent. But if you are going to do it, it, it probably hinges on Ace fighting pickoffs as soon as he gets... I think he's still going for the Shadow Blade. I yeah, he just it finished it. If you get the Shadow Blade and you get maybe two or big... Two or so, like, big pickoffs. Now here he goes, he's gonna attempt it onto Miracle. That would be a huge kill if they can claim it. Fada's in the neighborhood. And a couple lands to the face. Now here comes the help for Doppelganger. It's so quick, they tried to predict the Pit of Malice, but it will not work. GH is there to hold Miracle's hand. Mid one burning so much mana, and Ace having to poop for way to safety. All the mana burnt oh, from, my, from uh, barely gets mid over. one. And yeah, poor Meepo. Getting picked off on the way out. Fada, okay. he's getting glimpsed and then just Jumps back to base. Timing off by a fraction of a second for Kuro. Kuro with the whoops. Team Liquid would be very happy to go high ground now. 25 seconds. Either that or they Roche. just Roshan. There's a double damage room waiting for them outside the pit just to make life a little easier. Liquid has learned that Secret refuses to fight them under any circumstance. And with that being the case, you're just going to avoid all fights at this point. They tried going for the pickoff like I suggested with the Shadow Blade, but they're so far behind right now, and the target that they opted to go for is probably the hardest one to kill. Team Secret, they're coming over. GH, here comes the Shards. Just keeping Liquid inside the pit. Puppy can get a pretty big decay out, and he's still got the Tombstone running around, so they're going to try and attack from all sides. Fada coming in too. Team Liquid, now they're coming out. They actually missed the pit, and now Fada, as well as Yapsaw, they protect themselves inside the Snowball, but they're surrounded oh, by a lot of damage. Maybe. Yeah, there is so much damage coming out. Ace jumped into the middle of this fight. Team Liquid, they've lost two. They've claimed three back oh, in Miracle's return. Lost? Miracle jumping up. Ace, he's going to pop right now, and it's all up to Puppy, the last man standing, maybe with a buyback. Min one, he wants to go for what? A steal now on Roshan? GH is already the medic on the front lines and a regeneration rune just to make a better measure. Yeah, and Fada and Yaps are both ping it out. That will kind of shut this out. All he can do is try to time things oh, out as mind control. control. He's battling mid one. Mid one can't attack that. That's four points up and untouchable. He can drag him back and do some magical damage, but that's not going to help him. And you can see more into the hands of Miracle. A BKB at 16 minutes for the, Ra for the Razor too. This is what it looks like when your four position can't do anything at all three cores on the side of Liquid are in full. For a second there though, it looked pretty promising for Secret. The Firestorm in that small clumped up area did so much work. 
imagine what would happen if they actually connected with a Pit of Malice, but it was only half a second. Like, if, if Secret was there half a second earlier with their abilities, then they could have potentially locked in Liquid inside the Pit. Yeah, Yapsor had such a good Ice Shards. He just locked three heroes in there for quite some time, but nobody could really respond. I guess Liquid always had the way out with the four step and the, the double, yeah. but... They, they have enough items they can escape with. Mind Control's got the entire Hurricane fight. This has been... Quick, quick day is a good day, right? You expect this game at least. I, it is only game one. Goodbye, Cora. Ace. Okay, he needed kills like that. Yep, the so you made back. life a little bit more difficult to get out. There's a lot of damage from Mind Control. Ace is gonna be okay, though. Remember in Dota 1 where there was no cap? to the distance, yeah. and you would do the Chen Enchantress send back trick at level 1 to get first blood on mid. And I love mechanic that. I mean, that one wasn't broken, though. So. Yeah. That's, that's like you saying fountain hooking was uh, was a legit thing. Yeah. Oh, mid one. Yo. Thought he was going to bowl that one. But yeah, I thought, I thought he was going to dodge that too. <laughs> just taking it. Good sir. That just, is just trying to help out mind control for his uh, damage stats. But he has a haste rune, so he's going to start creep skipping out the top. Almost got the fuel scepter available too. But at the same time, new items start flooding in. So you already had the early diffuser blade from Miracle. Nice thing for him when the fighting is happening so early. But now he's finished up full Manta. Thank you for not going Battle Fury. Oh. You mean you haven't been enjoying these late late game farming mid one? PLs? Mid one? Okay. <laughs> But Tubberman had the damage for it. He had 500 mana. He did have 500 mana. He could have pulled Lightning TP. But can can you blame him? Like Team Secret right now, uh, like they've they've got to be in the fetal position. Just like oh, just someone save us. Yeah, he's he's getting rattled right there. Yeah. I very rarely have ever seen anyone make plays like that. Bada. They're protecting him as much as they possibly can. He's completely out of mana. Poppy wants to help out with the decays, but there's more miracles where they came from. They just keep battling Poppy. He's got 13 one charges into the base. They go Miracle and GH together. Yabzo wants to help out the glimpse onto Underlord. His TP will be successful, but Poppy has still died underneath his own tier three tower. Middle tower is under attack. Team Liquid are just having a field day with this matchup, and Metubomans entered the top lane. They. Ace has, Ace has to come back, but uh, his TP's on cooldown. His TP's on cooldown for 35 more seconds. I'm looking for one of the Aces back at base, but they just don't exist, so he's walking one back now as the jump, the back lines. Whoa, mid one. He is completely out of mana. I think uh, they chase this. This Yeah, is... they do. He's, he's got one ball lightning jump now. Nope, he's using it to kill off the creep wave. It's like he's... he's is, is he just saying kill me? He still bought his Yule so there's no buyback available on mid one. Maybe he's helping you, Blitz. That's I, coming to Storm Spirit very, very soon. I feel as though mid one right now is... Feels as though he's checking out of the... I don't say that lightly, but... Because like I said, he's one of the Storm... For a while, I think you was one of the few people to make it work. But in this game, there's not a whole lot that he can do. Yeah, this game has got to be very aggravating because they just simply can't kill anybody. You've got to feel pretty helpless at this point. Yeah. That initiation too when Ace uh, was basically nowhere to be found. Making life so hard, the tier 3 tower will drop. I think Ace is hoping for a kill. Kuro, if he put an Observer Ward up right now, he would have seen Ace TPing and potentially could have stopped it. But it may not matter. Miracle, 20 minutes in, takes the rain tracks. Melee coming after it. Mid one, long jump in. Remember, you've still got that Aegis the Immortal. Miracle, doppelgangers, they can't even kill him. GH is holding the hand as they retreat back out again. And, and relocate. They're going after the Meepo. Ace, maybe try and fight this one. No, 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 no. He brings the rest of him in just to do some damage, but... 55 seconds now without Ace, adding the pressure on bottom. They're trying to group up around the relocate target. So this is huge for Team Secret to lock him in, but they need to kill Meepo as well. GH isn't enough, but Miracle so strong, they burn the Aegis Immortal. The rest of Liquid trying to come in to help. Enchantress still in the neighborhood. And now Miracle can start fighting again. The Crimson Guard, they're trying to protect themselves. Puppy can't get the TP off. Fada sticks around a little bit longer. He knows he'll be okay with the Dark Rift. Oh, Goro again. Only half that thing the... is getting <laughs> Only half the second between the glimpse and the uh, Dark Rift. That is the second time Kuro 
messed that up, but I don't think he cares too much. Right now, no. Here comes mid one once and again. Pit of Malice is nice. Should be a massive up. Kill. He yells in very deep, and Miracle will go down. A thousand gold going the way of Yaps or of all people. A man highly deserving. My control, Fada taking he five years to team. actually hit him. So, okay, well, use the fire instead. He's got a bloody hood of defiance on the Enchantress, too. Go so this. here comes Mid One. They shard block him in. The glimpse will take Mid One a long way back, all the way back to Fountain because he TP'd the ball lightning this. And here he we go again. <laughs> he burns 90% he burns of his mana to reach the front lines. Kuro at least can be sharded up. Here comes your snowball as they want to initiate in harder, but Kuro forced after him, which means the Absol goes in way too deep. The pick can hit four heroes, but now Mind Control starts his work over on Farda. That one will cancel out his TP, but mid one in once again, focusing on the GH. They want him dead. They've almost got so him as well. He didn't damage. go down far enough. Mid one, one more attack. No, it's still not enough. Now we will finally bring him down. Liquid losing three in the Ace room. Is gonna go and he's going to bring in the extra friends, but they're coming no. so late. He was under the tier one tower, and with his Meepo, a 10% it wasn't a puppy he'll get glimpsed so no TPR from him the wall will leave and catch him the electrified fence of death as team liquid it's definitely become a little bit more of a pub but it's also become a crazy pub game this is it's weird because liquid are so stubborn right now they're just like we refuse to not fight you we have to take this non-stop this is is this a message that has to be sent exactly you gotta learn somehow Toby well, Miracle's taking the mid racks. You can learn. You can learn how the effect of that's going to cripple Team Secret in the mid lane. But you can see the impact that every single kill has on the net worth cards. Very well done as Ace. He just walked in there. If he could have gotten the kill on the Razor, that would have been a massive turnaround. I thought for a second that he had it. What did um? Okay, so Yapsor actually bought a Spirit Vessel. This one requires them to get kills, however. Uh, but two will make life very, very difficult for the Ayo to give that extra life during the team fights. So if they can start chaining some kills, the Spirit Vessel becomes useful. And Fada, they have the protection. Crimson Guard's doing a pretty damn good job at this point. Secret or uh, Liquid, by the way, that was a little bit sloppy because the Meepo just walked in Shadow Bladed and they didn't instantly have vision for him, so he got a very good initiation to begin the fights. And now he's going to get himself a triple stack of Ancient, too. This is kind of nice as long as he doesn't lose his Meepo. Got to so, be a little bit better about this. Uh, Ace actually, does he have enough damage for this? Yeah, he's fine. Okay, he's, he's good. He's going to micro up the Meepos a little bit. Thanks to the 10% life, till he gets a 15. But uh, Team Seeker, uh, Team Liquid are grouping up up on top now. So mid one's pushing out the bottom lane. He's only a couple of hundred gold away from having the Orchid completed. There'll be uh, no, no bounty runes, so he'll TP back home. It's not easy, but it their chances have gone from like 5% to like 8. <laughs> I was waiting for a bigger swing in the graph from you, Blitz. 3% I mean, is what you give him for this? 10 is a bit much, but I think it's not Can it's I not can I push Can I push you for 9%? Yeah, right, you we'll, can get, We'll, we'll haggle this it. up to 9%. You can get a 9 from Okay, 9%. Wonderful. Over here now. As long as like they can find a couple of pickoffs, the urn could do work. Now you've got the orchid from mid one, so he's managed to get orchid yules as well as the kaya for a 25 minute storm spirit that was having a pretty damn bad time. He's managed to boost himself up to 510 gold per minute, and Team Secret are coming to fight. There's no observe wards inside the base, so it's only a sentry ward, and it's four heroes smoked up. Farter keeping the pressure, the, the push out, but the same thing is for Liquid. They're smoking up. They're moving through the Radiant Jungle, but wait, are they... Roshan's alive. They're going in for Roshan? Oh, this would be dastardly play, but Fada uh, can get gone on. Yeah, Fada's being initiated, but here comes Storm Spirit. The long jump right over the back lines, trying to go on the Disruptor. He was the one that was silenced up, but Team Secret, they've lost two. The power is just way too strong when Matoma pops that BKB. A double kill for him. The immunity is just too good. They want Ace right now. They don't have the vision quite yet. They He's got Silver Edge in five second. seconds. The Glimpse going to pull him back down again, trying to poof back out again. Able to work all the way home. Nice timing, but now Liquid look like they just want to march all the way to the top. Oh, uh, yeah. Pushed in through the mid, take out top. Get the creep wave with you as well. Not much of a defense unless Storm, the big man. He's burning so much mana to try and force out these lanes mid one. 
fortifications available to buy some time. Mid one actually needs this so he can pick up some mana, jump straight in, straight back out again with the shards. The creep wave's at least licking its wounds, but they're gonna catapult in the back line, so no issue for Liquid here at all. They're gonna take a second lane of Rax. Ace still not fully ready to fight. Now the Pit of Malice catching out three. Shards are pretty good as well. Mid one jumping in, they want GH, and they do have that Orchid onto him, but they need to follow up damage. Here comes Ace walking in. The Meepo proves they're focusing on the time, but the BKB will now come out from him. GH isolated in the back line, so he cannot be that heal. But when Ace is down, the damage is gone with him. Kuro's put down the perfect wall, the perfect storm, and mid one will fall. I think that's it. Hey, you've got to tap out now. Four heroes without buyback, and GG in Indeed, Team Liquid, it took a little longer than the first series did today, but 27, 28 minutes, convincing fashion, apart from a small little hiccup at around the 20 minute mark. Yeah, that was very thorough. Look at the and smile on Kuro. That was, game was? I think that more than any outplays, that was just honestly, uh, just such a sick outdraft. The, all three lanes lost. I'm, I'm trying to, normally like, I'm trying to be a little bit more harsh 